Maybe you would like to know what the hell I do. The answer is that many many weeks, maybe months ago, I told you that I'm gonna start with this series. And that day is finally here. Hello guys, my name is Doug and you are watching first episode of my new series Back in Days. You asked me a lot about my old sketches, about old times and in these videos I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you my old artworks and tell you stories from these old good times. Of course I have to start this series with my first sketch ever. This is it these two ugly letters. I wanted to write stop. I remember that moment. I was 11 or 12 years old and it was year 2007. For the first time ever I had idea in my head that I want to do graffiti. I just knew that it is something legal and that I should draw letters. That color combination is awesome and look at this sketch. Pretty cool right? Sometimes people ask me questions about graffiti. How I can get better? And the answer is that you just have to practice. All these papers are my sketches since 2007. Almost every single sketch that I made is over here. These sketches are amazing. In 2007 when we started with graffiti it was awesome because we had lots of time. Firstly we started with parkour and free running, then we started with skateboarding and then graffiti. I started about 10 graffiti crews with my friends, I had about 12 names and today my name is Doak and I don't have a graffiti crew. There was a huge page about graffiti and hip-hop music with name Art Attack and this was our biggest source of inspiration. Look at that masterpiece! Almost every single writer started with tags and we also started just with black Molotov markers. After a few months with graffiti we bought our first can and we felt so strong. That feeling when you make your first tag with can, it's pretty awesome. But most of the time we were just making graffiti on paper. And these are my first markers ever. They smell like cigarettes because, you know, we tried so many things and once I had to hide my cigarettes and it was so stupid idea. I remember that day when my father found these markers and he realized that I do graffiti. He was like, what the hell are you doing? And I was like, um, you know, um, it's legal. I told him that I draw just on paper and he said okay, but if you're gonna do illegal graffiti I, I, I. and he still asked me these questions. Where are you going? Is it legal? Don't do illegal graffiti. It's not worth it. Is it legal? My parents are okay with graffiti, but my grandma was not. Punk is dead, hip hop is best. When I heard that word graffiti for the first time, first person ever who told me about graffiti was my grandma. When I was just little little kid. She told me at least 100 times that graffiti is the worst thing ever. 
and when I was a little bit older and she realized that I do graffiti, whew, she was so angry. She told me that it is bad at least 1000 times. And I still started with graffiti. I'm so sorry. But I never started with real illegal graffiti like bombings and stuff like this, so it should be okay. I was so active when I started with graffiti. I made at least 10 sketches per day. And I remember that I was so mad because I I I didn't know how to create something that looks good. And I tried so hard and it was so bad. But after a few more months in graffiti I started to be a little bit better. Oh my goodness, so cool! One of my best friends, he had no idea how to do sketches, he was not able to make something that looks good, but he knew how to paint graffiti on walls with cans. And we had a deal, that I'm that person who's gonna make sketches, and he's that person who's gonna paint graffiti on walls. I remember my first piece on wall ever, and it was so, so bad. I thought that I'm a little bit better, that I should create something good. Nope. People asked me how I how I made my name. Doke. And the answer is that I was Deco before and then I changed letters because I realized that Deco is already here and I'm Doke. Yeah, these days it was so sweet. Almost every single boy was interested in graffiti. Also, girls were interested in graffiti. You know, I had so many little problems with graffiti and few little bit bigger problems with graffiti, but it was worth it. We had so many role models and these guys were so active too, especially in streets. There were new bombings and tags in the streets almost every single week and we were so excited about it. We took pictures of these pieces and we tried to use them as inspiration and we tried to be better. All these amazing crews like Rascals, KGB, DSS, RKS, 2MK, Mutants and big crews like this. Some of them are still active but they prefer trains. It was so awesome. Probably these two years, first two years in graffiti were the best for me. Okay guys, this was first episode of my new series Back in Days. I finally showed you my old sketches and told you few stories from my first two years in graffiti. Let me know in comments below what you think about this series, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. And if you're gonna like it, all these sketches are waiting for you. Yeah, it was so sweet, I got so many beautiful memories. And I can't believe that it is already 9 years ago. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time!